is back. After almost five years that Henry Cavill's Superman finally rose and flew again on March 18 of this year. Zack Snyder's Justice League marked the return of Superman to the big screen, technically small screen, as Zack Snyder's Justice League is an HBO Max original, but also big screen as it was screened on selected IMAX theaters. No, that 2017 abomination doesn't count, it must be erased from our memories. 2021 is also the year of Superman and Lois, the first TV show of the Man of Steel in 10 years since the end of Smallville. So far, this has been an excellent year for Superman fans, we can finally say with joy. Happy Superman Day! Hi, my name is Damian Anton Vincent. I'm a Superman fan since in the days of Richard Donner, um, the Christopher Reeve Superman. I think Superman, too, for me, it is it's about doing the right thing, you know. And now that we have the the, the Henry Cavill Superman, to me more is like, you know, you know, in spite of your, 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 your struggles and, you know, in spite of what people might think, you know, you, you just be good and to be, cons to be, to show empathy for others, you know, and, and, and persevere in, even in the midst of in difficult situation, right? Um, and I just want to say happy Superman Day to all the Superman fans out there. Bye. Superman means a lot to me in more ways than I can express. <laughs> he was actually the first superhero, first film I ever saw in the theater, Superman 4. Eh, uh, I'm not a fan of that movie either, but uh, just the fact of seeing Superman fly on the screen as your first cinematic experience was amazing. I did have some toys and comics as a kid, but you know, as I, I was never, I never really committed to him after that. It wasn't until um, I was actually a Marvel guy and a Superman hater at one point. At one point in my life, I was starting to do my own kind of hero's journey to find out who I was. And uh, just randomly, a friend recommended that I start reading him because he heard my displeasure with Superman and said, eh, he's a little bit more to that. Why don't you give him a read? There's a good friend of mine who said that. And uh, I can never thank him enough because as I started reading the comics, catching up, uh, it was a funeral for a friend that really made me understand what Superman was about. And um, more than powers and being OP, he's a character. And he's very character driven. It's more about the consequences of decisions that you make throughout life. Using your uh, given talents and abilities and embracing who you are. Those also being in like an adoptive child, having adoptive parents, but you regard as your own. I know that with my stepdad and. Um, uh, being kind of mixed ethnicity in a way, different culture classes, like in just everything of who you are and what makes who you are, I think was more definitive in Superman's makeup that attracted me. I mean, I did like the abilities that he has, like Goku and all that, but that's that's cool. But um, I think it was like 2008, I, I fell in love with the character and I started catching up and just the progression of the video games I got into and then Zack Snyder's films and then that journey really tested what I loved and what I could do. So ever since I re-fell in love with Superman in like 2008 up until now, I feel I've accepted and embraced who I am in the same way that we see Superman do not just in Zack Snyder's films but in his own lore and other stories. So... The growth of Superman and the inspiration to be 
at his ideals and everything just just means the world to me and no other character has helped me find my strength and uh inspire me to be the best i can be in what i could do than superman it's not just about ooh cool powers and everything but it's about finding your place in the world and making a difference and i hope i'm doing that Hey, today we are celebrating the greatest superhero of all time, the Superman. So happy Superman Day and restore the Snyderverse. Superman for me is that character that has always been there. If you ask me what is my oldest memory of Superman, I don't really know. I don't know if it was a movie, a comic book, or the animated series. I just know that he's always been there since I was little, and he's one of my favorite fictional characters. This year, 2021, it was just glorious to see Henry Cavill once again as Superman in his black suit in the Snyder Cut. That's my Superman highlight of this year. What about you? And happy Super Monday. Superman to me is someone who really represents the best in humanity. Where where even in the where even if you put Superman in the in the darkest of places and the darkest of times he always comes out strong he always pulls through and tries to do the right thing like and and even when people do disagree with he, him he see he always does what he does believe is right and even though some people don't agree with him and how that really reflects on me is a lot of people think that i don't they don't agree with what i believe i'm doing and stuff like that and even though i'm like kind of different or weird <laughs> He all I always go back to really Superman where even though people treat him wrong he always he always ignores what he even though he sees what people are talk, are saying about him he always does his own way of doing what he believes is right and is always and is very inspiring to those even though he's very polarizing so yeah to me i guess superman he just represents the best of humanity happy superman day <laughs> <laughs> 